Hi, my name is Dakari Carter. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect your DSLR video camera or your mirrorless camera that you have and connect it to the Zoom video conferencing app. So a lot of people are wanting to use those apps for live streamings, for trainings or whatever the case is, and they want to step up the quality. And this is one way to be able to do it versus relying on like your built in, you know, webcam that you have on your laptop or your computer so the first thing you'll need to know is that you do need hardware for this you cannot simply connect your camera via usb to the computer it doesn't work that way um, your computer needs something that will allow you to take the video signal from the camera put it into the computer and then send that to the software such as zoom so the Hardware that I'm using is actually from Elgato. This is called a capture card. If you want to use this one, you can. I'll make sure I include links to it below. Um, otherwise, you need to make sure that you're using a capture card. Basically, if you type that in on Google or Amazon, this is the device you need. So uh, this one, like I said, is from Elgato. It's the Elgato HD 60S Plus. Um, basically, this device is what um, gets the signal via HDMI um, from your camera goes into the device this device connects to the computer and then that speaks to the software to transfer the vid video signal so it's really simple to use really um, there's it's plug and play so you don't have to do any special adjustments or um, software modifications or anything like that um, so the way it works is basically you will have a um, well I need to include what it comes with <laughs> so this one in specifically uh, comes with the USB type C um, cable so that will connect to the little capture card itself to be able to transfer data and of course power the device um, and then it also comes with a traditional HDMI uh, 2.0 cable so um, what you'll need to make sure that you also have is a um, HDMI cable so one end is just the standard HDMI size the bigger one and then for your camera you'll need to double check and see what you use but most of them are using a micro HDMI cable or end um, so that micro smaller section will basically go into your camera. This will go into the little capture card. And then from there, you'll use a standard HDMI cable to go out of the capture card into the computer. So if you're using like one of the newer MacBooks where it does not have a HDMI cable, which most of them don't, um, or I'm sorry, input, uh, you'll need to make sure that you get some sort of adapter. So I'm using an adapter that has the HDMI input as well as a few other like USB um, inputs and you know SD card readers and things like that. Um, so if you do that, then that'll allow you to be able to have the traditional HDMI, the larger one, uh, going into the computer itself. Um, so now that we've kind of knocked out some of the hardware, what you'll need to do if you don't already is download the Zoom application. Um, I'm using a MacBook Pro, so for this example, I'll be using, um, I'll just be downloading that. Um, so we'll go ahead and on Google, just type in the Zoom app for Mac. Then that will take us to their download center and then you'll just go there go through all the steps download the software sign up once you get in there then you can go ahead and just open up the application i'll restart this okay and then once you do that um, it will take you to the software of course if you're joining a call you can do that and then just have your you know high quality video feed or if you want to create um, a meeting that way you're hosting it and you're maybe doing a training or some type of um, webinar whatever the case is and um, click on that and then from there um, just like any other um, video conference setup you will let the computer know if you want to use the um, computer audio which basically would be whatever you're using as an input so some people are using like me for example a, a um, USB microphone or they're using it straight from the camera itself. So it just depends on what your audio source is. So in our case, we'll just click join with computer audio. Okay. And then if you go to the bottom next to the little microphone um, and the video camera at the bottom left corner, you'll have options to select where you want that video feed to come from. So if I click the FaceTime HD camera, that's just the built-in camera on the MacBook Pro itself, but we want to use the feed coming from the camera. So that, it won't say your camera name, it'll say the capture card. So if you are using the Elgato version, it'll tell you what that model is, or if you buy another one, then of course it'll say what that capture card is. So you just select on that. 
And then same thing for the audio, if you're using a special USB microphone or something, if you just wanna use it directly from the camera or just the built-in mic on the laptop, then you just need to tell it um, what you want it to come from. So in my case, I'm using the Yeti um, podcast microphone, so then I just select that and then the sound will come from here and then the video feed will come from the camera. So there's a couple different options. You can clearly play with what you want to do and whatever fits your situation, but that's basically how you do it. Uh, really simple, plug and play. Um, the hardware doesn't need any special adjustments and the software doesn't either. Um, if you still have some issues, um, you can always go to the system preferences. Let's say you're on a MacBook and you'll just double check that the output is coming from uh, whatever device you want to be able to be listening from. I have my headphones plugged into this microphone, so that's why mine says uh, the Yeti stereo microphone, but as far as input, um, then you obviously will check here depending where you want your sound and you know things to come from. So those are just a couple options that you have for video streaming or for just you know hosting webinars with your professional camera. So if you do have questions, feel free to reach out to me on social media. Um, all of my usernames are just Dakari Carter. You can leave a comment here as well. So if you do have questions or if you want to know um, based on your situation what you can do to be able to connect your camera, just feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer. So until then, if you do want to uh, learn more about just live streaming and just video creation itself or photography, make sure you subscribe. That way you don't miss out on any future videos. So see you next time.